Hello everyone, today we will use Compose Multiplatform in order to develop an application for both platforms like Android and iOS. And as you can see on the screen, we have an application that has a simple vertical grid and it displays an image and all of these were done in Jetpack Compose. So in order to create a Compose Multiplatform project, we need to go to Kotlin Multiplatform Wizard and here Let's enter the project name. So let's say compose multi-platform platform project, a decoding, and let's say compose. Let's simply let compose project. Make sure these two are checked and hit download. Now we need to wait until the Gradle finishes the build. And I think it's done or yeah, it's almost done. Now we need to open the common main and this is the shared UI between the iOS and Android application and in the Kotlin org we have the main activity and now we need to open the app.kt and here we will create a lazy vertical grid with the image. Let's start by removing these things and clear the imports. Now let's create the lazy vertical grid. So lazy vertical grid, columns, grid cells, dot fixed. And we have two columns, open the curly brackets and here let's say items and pass 10 items here. Now let's go into the Gradle scripts and now we need to import a dependency in order to showcase the images that we got from a link. So let's open the Compose app, go here, and the library we are adding is called Compose Image Loader and is very similar to Coil, if you know, and sync now. Now let's go back to the app.kt and create the image. So this is called Auto Size Image. Let's pass the URL, oops content scale crop, content scale crop and modifier, oh, I forgot content description is null, modifier is fill max, modifier dot fill max size. Let's import the modifier. Now let's also add some padding like 10 dp and now let's say clip rounded corner shape of 10 dp and now we can simply run the app and see how it looks. Okay, as you can see, it looks perfectly. And if you want to run an iOS application, you may not have this because firstly, you need to go to setting or to plugins directly and simply search for multi-platform and make sure that you have Kotlin multi-platform installed. And if you want to see previews, make sure that you also have Compose multi-platform ID support plugin but the main thing is the Kotlin multi-platform because this allows us to create an iOS emulator. So you will need to go to edit configurations and hit plus and iOS application. And here you will have the Xcode project file and you hit on this folder, open the Kotlin multi-platform project, iOS app and iOS app.xcode proj. And now wait a couple of seconds until it finishes this thing and simply select a device like we want an SE. Now let's apply. I forgot to name this with a second. Unnamed, let's say iOS app SE. Okay, and hit run. Now it's doing its stuff in order to open the iOS emulator and I forgot to mention that if you don't have one Mac or Mac OS device, let's say, you can't run the iOS emulator, but if you're writing the, the code in Compose, it will look the same on the iPhone device. So wait a couple of seconds until it opens the app. Okay, as you can see, this is how it looks on the iPhone SE. We can also run another iOS emulator by changing to this one and hit run. And this is how it looks on the iPhone 15. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this and see you soon.